Hello? And welcome to the episode of Todd Talks. When Todd Talks, people listen. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? Hopefully. Actually, why would you hopefully be afraid of the dark? Some people are weird. I'm just saying, they probably would get off on that. But, uh, yeah. I am in a very interesting mood today. Because we are talking about the death battle between Phoenix and Raven. And I lost again! I was really hopeful for this season. I thought this would be, like, my comeback season. That I would have, like, you know, a nice string of victories. Especially after the uh, Adam Ant-Man comp- uh, season premiere. But I am, uh, I'm not doing it. Nope, I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling it at all. Because I lost again. Two in a row now. First time this season, thankfully. But I'm not happy about it. I- I'm not happy about it at all. Because it's the freaking Phoenix! I'm become <laughs> Uh, and again, yes, I love Raven and everything. She she's been a crush of mine uh, in my younger years, and then and same with Starfire. But uh, yeah, I guess I just underestimated our dear uh, Raven. So let's break right into it. This is a very interesting fight because I I knew by my research that it would be close. I mean, the whole point. They wouldn't have done this fight. They wouldn't have done this fight if it wasn't close. And even Ben mentioned in the recent uh, DB cast, the one that came out right before the episode, that um, they weren't sure about it at first. But then after using the Twilight Sparkle episode, which now just looks like a mismatch of epic proportion. I mean, they were holding they were holding Raven back in many ways during that time. Uh, looking back on it. Because they were like, oh, who has more instant kill spells? I'm like, I'm sorry, how does Twilight Sparkle kill Raven? Like, I rewatched the ending of that episode. It said that uh, uh, they had, like, one-hit kill spells that would counter each other. I'm like, you sure about that? Pony? Anyway. Uh, so, but coming into the, out of the, the Phoenix one. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of things that's important to talk about here with the, with the Phoenix breakdown. The first part is that they reference the... Um, uh, Avengers arc from uh, very recently, I believe it was either the, the, the beginning of the end of the beginning of this year or really close because they were dealing with like a whole multiverse full of Avengers headed up by Loki of all people. Long story. And they were like a lot of the panels you saw there, like Captain America saving the Captain America dog like, and then, uh, Oh man, Logan Phoenix force. That was from that episode. Um, also, I do apologize. If it looks like my face is a little swollen, it actually is. I uh, hurt myself, and uh, yeah, I'm like looking at my face because like, does it look swollen? Yeah, it's a bit swollen, but I'm fine. I promise. Uh, I, I I'm allergic to losing in death battle. <laughs> anyway, so that was an important one, and then the uh, the G Gray death scene. I was dying laughing at that because spoilers in the uh, X Men Hellfire Gala. 2023 issue they did in fact kill gene gray again <laughs> it's it's complicated but uh they it was a bunch of you know specific bull crap and she didn't have the phoenix at the time but uh yeah she um she's dead again a 16th time that's uh that's that's interesting now to be clear some of that 16 was from that one time where logan i, I referenced it before like logan had to kill gene multiple times to weaken the phoenix force so, like, it, it's not as big as you might think it is, but still, it's a lot. <laughs> I love that they did that. They did not have to do that, and, and that, that had to be, like, a last-minute edit because it happened literally last Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's hilarious to me. I absolutely love it. Um, but coming out of that, what they're talking about, you know, like, oh, oh gee, the Phoenix Force stopped an omniverse of, of destruction, and, you know, it's fought Galactus and Necrom, who I referenced in my last, in my preview, and I'm like, how is Raven going to counter all this? And then Raven starts coming in. I'm like, mm, now I'm worried about Gene. Oh, man. Because as they wisely noted in Death Battle, and I'm, I'm guilty of this in many ways, when we see Raven fighting alongside the Titans or the Justice League or whoever, we see her at her most restricted. We don't think of her as a universe destroyer as a multiverse destroyer as someone who can like destroy your soul without much of a thought or fighting as a ghost you know we think of her as you know azareth metrion zinthos or you know the the girlfriend of of beast boy love that 
Gusta called that out because DC is ca are total cowards. They don't do horror. They won't do horror. Horror IV in mainline canon. They'll do it everywhere else. They won't do it in mainline canon. They won't do Beast Boy, Raven for too long. They won't do like the one that they'll they'll allow is is Superman and Lois. Uh, they won't do Batman and Selina. It's 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 crap. Marvel's just as guilty, just to be clear. I mean, just look at Jean Grey and all her lovers. Like, Ugh. But, uh, you know, we don't think of Raven as this, you know, scion of power outside of just what we see regularly from, like, the Teen Titans cartoons and most of the comics. So seeing her unleashed is a rare, very rare thing. And I, I am guilty of I'm not thinking along those terms. Because sometimes it is easy to forget that when you're doing a death battle, all the restrictions are gone. Batman can kill, which he's killed in the past, I'm just saying. Um, you know, Superman doesn't have to hold back. Uh, you know, Goku's at max power level, whatever that is. You know, et cetera, et cetera. These are them at their peak. And when you deal with that, you deal with, you know, seeing them in unfamiliar territory, including Raven as a ghost beating the Phoenix. Now, for the battle, I was actually very impressed with how they handled this, not just in terms of music. The music was really great. But they, uh, they showed the scale of it all. You know, they, they entered the mind space, they entered the white hot room, which I knew the moment they entered the white hot room that Phoenix was going to lose because you, you saw Raven, like, shoot something into the room. I'm like, what did she shoot into the white hot room? Um, and, oh, by the way, I definitely did not see that page of the Phoenix losing in the white hot room. I Everything I found said that she was invincible in that room, so I don't know what that green tiger thing was in there. But, uh... You know, like, they, they took it to Mental Battles, they went Dark Raven, they went Dark Phoenix, they went Soul Raven, they did, oh, White Phoenix of the Crown, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, they, they escalated. They escalated a lot, and it, it really worked in its favor, up right up until the end. And uh, the shot of the Phoenix flying going, you know, that was, that was really clever, and it made me so mad. I, oh, I can't believe I lost that fight. I mean, and to be fair, some of these fights were really close. Obito Vader, Adam Ant-Man, and now Phoenix Raven. You know, it really came down to how well do you know the lore. Like, I didn't know about those rings that she used to destroy Trigon's soul. I did not know about that. I know she had beaten Trigon, but I did not know about that. Uh, I didn't know she had a sword. <laughs> when does Raven have a sword? They didn't show that comic panel. Um, and so on and so forth. So this is the beauty of death battle in many ways because you think you know what's going to happen. You think you know, you know, who's going to do what and what powers are going to be shown and, you know, what ones might be the end all, be all. But it's not true. So I am humbled, once again, and I will endeavor to do better next time. Or will I? <laughs> because you might be wondering, Todd, if you're so mad about losing Phoenix Raven, why are you smiling so much? Because next time on Death Battle, we are getting the matchup that a certain fan base has been begging for. <laughs> we are finally getting Guts versus Dimitri. We are finally getting Fire Emblem. Yes! And I'm telling you right now, I don't give a crap about Guts or the Berserker armor or whatever bullcrap he has brought in from his manga. I am picking Dimitri right now. I will lose and I will not care. I am repping my crew, okay? Fire Emblem fam. Hashtag that. All right, yeah. Hashtag Fire Emblem fam. Yes, Guts versus Dimitri. I am already on Team Dimitri. Book it. I don't care. Uh, and I actually think I know a way around uh, some of the Berserker armor powers, so ha 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 ha. All right, but I can't wait for that. That is going to be easily one of the most fun previews I do. I did not get to do a Guts preview last time because I didn't start until Digimon uh, Pokemon, which was the end of Season 3, and Guts, uh, Dimitri, or uh, Dimitri, dang it, Guts Nightmare was uh, in the middle of that season. So I have not gotten to talk about Guts before, so I will talk about him, and I'll talk about Dimitri, who I will be picking. I 100% will be picking. Like, mark this time. I am I am picking Dimitri. Okay, book it. And he will win. Yeah. Uh... I can't promise that, obviously. I would have bet so much on Phoenix and, you know, Vader. But, uh, yeah. So, with that, I made this episode of Talk. Who, what did you think of the fight between Phoenix and Raven? Were you shocked that Phoenix lost? And may, remember, many of you picked Phoenix on my timeline, looking at you, Silver the Hedgehog. That's your second future prediction that you got wrong. Trying to tell the future, it's no use! And what do you think about uh, Guts versus Dimitri? We're totally going to get it. Uh, let me know in the comments below. So, I uh, thank you for watching. If you made it so far, I know you were listening. 
and I'll see you around.